Back at the house where eight of his relatives died, Mohammed Shafiq escaped with his life in 2002 when petrol was poured through the letterbox of number 40 Osborne Road in Birkby. 16 years on, it's still painful to talk about. This house was engulfed with fire and uh, I was still thinking they will survive. The uh, fire brigade, the uh, fire engines, they were here after a few minutes, but what didn't help was the use of petrol and uh, with that um, it just happened so quickly, the fire spread so quickly and uh, people inside, they had a very little chance of uh, survival. It was a so-called honour killing that turned into mass murder. Three generations of the Chisti family were wiped out, the youngest to die a six-month-old girl. In 2003, three men were convicted of murder and manslaughter, but a fourth, Shahid Mohammed, the prime suspect, skipped bail and fled to Pakistan. He was eventually arrested three years ago and remains in custody, fighting extradition to the UK, much to the frustration of the latest West Yorkshire detective to be in charge of this complex investigation. The problem, of course, is that we have no extradition treaty or process with, uh, the, with Pakistan. Um, which is a stumbling block, so um, everything is done at a very slow pace. This chapter hasn't closed, we can't put a closure to it because we feel one of the person, men, guys who was involved in carrying this out, he is still out there. Meanwhile, there's a belief people in Huddersfield may still know more about what happened and are yet to contact the police. If anybody does have any information for the sake of this poor, poor family who have been so dignified, so stoic, but have just suffered the most unimaginable trauma and grief. Please come forward. Members of the family will return to this memorial at the bottom of Osborne Road tomorrow to remember the eight family members who died in this horrific arson attack. All they want now is justice to be done and for the prime suspect to be extradited back to the UK by the Pakistani authorities. Ian White, BBC Look North, Huddersfield.